I'm Warren Aki, Fire Chief for the City of Bethlehem Fire Department. If you're looking for an exciting, dynamic career in the fire service where no two days are the same, the City of Bethlehem Fire Department may be your answer. We send our recruits to the Allentown Fire Academy for a 20-week program. On your return from the Academy in Allentown, you'll join a group of dedicated professionals within the City of Bethlehem Fire Department. The Fire Department responds to vehicle accidents, structure fires. We have an organized certified hazardous materials team, a hazardous device team, otherwise known as a bomb squad, a water rescue team. It's an exciting career. I encourage you to imply. When someone's breaking the law, they call the cops. If someone's injured, you call an ambulance. Uh, if you can't figure out who to call, you call the fire department. I like to help people. When someone calls 911, they're looking for help. Yeah, the buck stops with us. So we, we have to figure out how to alleviate the problem. And uh, we usually do that. So I always enjoyed helping people. Uh, I also always enjoyed uh, kind of working with my hands. And being a firefighter is kind of the best thing of both worlds. One day we could be uh, doing training. Uh, next day we could be out fighting a fire. Uh, another day we could be doing something for the hazmat. It's an adventure. There's always something new. You have the everyday stuff you do, um, cleaning, you know, checking out the truck, but every time you have a call, you never know what it's gonna be. It could be changing batteries in a smoke detector or somebody's sick. Academy life was interesting. I, I went with a good group of guys and uh, we had a lot of fun. It's tough, but it was very rewarding. The Academy life is pretty structured. So it's uh, almost like a nine to five. It's a mixture of classroom and physical, uh, physical training, uh, practical exercises. So the beginning of it is mostly classroom. The academy was hard. It was a very hard mentally and physically. You came home every day tired. I learned a lot. EMT was the hardest part of the academy for most people. Um, I had my EMT prior to starting, so that was a big bonus for me. So they have like a walk, crawl, walk, run sort of philosophy when it comes to training. So at the very beginning, uh, it's a lot of PowerPoints, a lot of books, a lot of studying. Uh, and then as you progress through the, uh, as the months and the weeks go on, uh, because more hands on. And then at the very end, it culminates with uh, a couple days of just straight practical events. Uh, try it out, stop by one of the firehouses. Uh, we give tours, uh, talk to us about what it's like, and study. It's, the testing is somewhat easy, but it's very competitive. There's a lot of people that try for the tests. Uh, especially with our test, if you're going to take our test, uh, I know when I did it, they offered a study guide, so I thought the study guide helped. Now they go to the academy, they graduate with EMT, uh, which is more training than an EMR, and 10 other pro board certifications, so there's a lot to learn and do at the academy. Bethlehem, we have has materials response team, uh, we have a water rescue team, uh, we have a newly formed technical rescue team, uh, we have a bomb squad. Uh, which we are one of the very few fire departments in the country. Uh, we have a inspections bureau and we also have a uh, fire investigation here. The firefighter schedule is the best schedule in the world. We currently work two day shifts and two night shifts and then we have four days off. Couldn't be any better. You work two nine hour day shifts, then you basically have 24 hours off in between your two 15-hour night shifts. You have so much free time at home, and I know a lot of people have an issue with the day shift to night shift switch, but you get used to it. So I work Monday through Thursday one week, seven to five, then I'll have four days off, and then the next week I'll work Tuesday through Friday with a two-day weekend. Station life, um, there's a lot of work that the public doesn't see with the fire service. Uh, when we have a structure fire, that makes the news. Uh, a lot of times we go out to accidents, there's nothing in a newspaper about that, but every day there's something uh, different to do in the station. Station life is, it's a little mundane sometimes, honestly. Um, we have a lot of stuff we do every day. We do cleaning, we make sure, we check out the apparatus and the equipment, um, we clean the station, we clean the equipment, make sure it's ready for service. Um, but then, you know, you also have time to sit with your fellow firefighters and just build camaraderie. <laughs> Station life's amazing. <laughs> uh, when you're at the firehouse, that's a good thing because you're not on the streets dealing with emergencies and stuff. But um, station life is, um, you have to experience it to really understand what station life is like. It's very rewarding. 
it's really great to see you know, little kids come in, they either drive by or they walk by and they want to stop and see the fire trucks. It's great to know when you help somebody. Everybody loves firefighters too. So there's that uh, sense of feeling accomplishment when you leave at the end of the day. Um, again, helping people, seeing somebody that is in trouble and you show up and make it better for them. We usually get called out in people's times of need. And I mean, everybody loves the firefighters, but no one really wants us there. Cause Chances are, if we're there, something's going wrong. Uh, it's great, uh, especially when we deal with the kids. Uh, right now, we, we do a great uh, program, uh, cops and kids, even though the fire service is involved with that. Uh, but on the south side, when I drive down the street, we'll go into a school and we'll meet kids. And I'm driving down the street, they'll wave to me or they'll, they'll wave by the, come by the firehouse, say, hey, I know you, and we'll talk a little bit. So it's always fun to interact with the community. Yeah, there's a ton of camaraderie here. This is uh, being a part of the FD is really uh, like being part of a family. Yeah.